I am so excited. This just <laughs> makes my week. <laughs> okay. And, and what else makes your week is the big dog show that's going on, right? We are very excited. We're still going to the dogs down here at the Art Museum. with our. Okay. We have the dog illustration show that we've had up. Uh, and tomorrow we're having a dog show. It's called the Love My Dog Show at 2 o'clock on Sunday in Hackley Park, rain okay. or shine. Or I hope right, we're going to have shine. Yeah, well, now this is going to be ha right, right in Hackley Park then. Right in Hackley Park. Okay, I thought yeah. it was supposed to be right in the museum. Well, I'll tell you. They they really weren't wild about having dogs <laughs> in the museum. <laughs> I don't know why. I had uh, We had a tough time convincing our boss, and he really didn't go for it. Oh, okay. So we're going to have it in Hackley Park. And we are, it is open to any kind of dog, any age, any size, any shape, any color. Uh, and we've got lots of really fun ones already registered. We're in, there's no charge. Uh, we're encouraging kids to show off their dogs is what, is what it is. So they can bring, we have everything from a teacup chihuahua to a two-year-old German shepherd who likes to eat tennis shoes. Okay. Those are the kinds that are registered so far. It's also sponsored by Hackley Library and the Greater Muskegon Kennel Club. So everybody gets a prize for participating. We've got gourmet dog biscuit <laughs> treats. <laughs> which Ooh, save one for me, Melissa. I, well, you know, I'm gonna, I am because everyone says they're really good. Really? <laughs> Edible I, for people, too. So you think, think we'll get a chance to try one? What do you think? I, I think they could be good. You go, you know, if, I do, if you do it, though, I'll do it. All right. What do you, you think? Is you got a deal. A deal? You got a deal. So if I, I see you down there... We're going to eat dog biscuits, right? I will do that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to take that dare. <laughs> I don't know if I had that much guts. I don't know. <laughs> I think it could be fun. Uh, see, I, I remember eating those when I was a kid. Well, just I on, think, on a dare. Anyway. You know, I think they've, they've probably come up with a lot more interesting formulas and, and, and tastes than, than they had. So, so I, yeah. I, I still almost guarantee you they'll taste like cardboard. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll, have to, we'll have to find out. We'll dip them in chocolate and see there what happens. There you go. A little, little gourmet uh, dog biscuit with chocolate Anything on with it. chocolate That's on it is much better, <laughs> isn't it? This is true. This is true. So we're going to have the dog show, and we encourage everybody to come down. We just require that you have your dog on a leash and under control. Just okay. imagine, you know, tons of dogs in Hackley Park, and oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, that, that could be scary, especially when, when you and I are over there eating dog biscuits in the corner. They could come attack us. You <laughs> we could become be mobbed by the dog. <laughs> That's right. All right. So is, is, is anybody required to bring pooper scoopers with them or no? Um, we will probably be having our own pooper scooper patrol. Okay. I so think that's probably going to be my duty. Oh, lucky you, eating dog biscuits and eating pooper dog scooper biscuits patrol. And pooper good, scoopering. Good, good. It's going to be fun because Sunday is also the last day to see the Speak uh, Dog Illustration exhibit. So this is kind of our closing uh, hurrah uh, for the exhibition. We've had lots of fun and lots of really great programs. And this is, this is our closer. Okay, sounds good. So uh, there's a big stuff set up for next week. We'll talk about that or what? Uh, yes, we've always got big stuff happening here at the big museum. Stuff. <laughs> big stuff at the museum. <laughs> yeah. Besides gourmet dog biscuits. That's okay. right. Yeah, we're going to be done with the dog thing here uh, uh, this week. So we'll uh, have some more stuff. Uh, just be honest with me. Are you going to be happy about when, when it's done with the dogs or what? Yeah, we've kind of uh, we've kind of had the dog thing here for a while. So yeah, we'll be on to the next. We had the spam thing last week, and that was definitely enough. One week was enough <laughs> for the spam for me. Spam. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. I got, I got a spam magnet for you, too. I think we have some leftover stuff here. Oh, I am excited. Did you eat some of that? Uh, yeah. Then if you'll eat that, you'll eat dog biscuits. Oh, probably, yeah. It's probably tastes about, pr probably the dog biscuits probably taste better. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, be a, I'm, not a big, I'm not a big spam lover. I found that out. I realized why I haven't eaten, eaten spam in so long. I realize that now. Oh, that's scary stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Melissa. Thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you again next week. Very good. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Elton John and your song, Soft Rock 95.3, News Radio 850. It's about uh, 9.30, and we're going to talk with Ed, Ed Weiss? Weesies. Weesies, I'm sorry. That's all right. You only told me your name 15 different times, you know, and we've been talking through the week, and uh, <laughs> I still pronounce it wrong. But okay. Anyway, you are there for the uh, Muskegon uh, Northside uh, Lions Club Spring Fling. Right. Okay. Out here in Mulally Park and out in Lake, beautiful Lakeland Township. Okay. Now, you, it, it was started, what, yesterday, right? It started uh, last evening. Okay. And uh, with the food and beverage tent. Of course, the beverage yes. tent. The, be the infamous beverage tent, as you That's and right. Deborah were talking about this yeah. morning. Yeah. And uh, we had a super good crowd. Uh, everybody seemed to have a good time. We've got uh, had the tennis course jammed with people dancing. And... Uh, Everybody seemed to really enjoy themselves. Who was playing yesterday? Uh, we had a DJ, Tom Schalk from Quality Sound. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, he had them a rocking and a rolling. Okay. And uh, now, right now, as we were talking about, uh, Pancake Lions' world-famous pancake breakfast is going on until 11. 
And, and, I, and I understand that uh, one of our former DJs here used to deliver pancakes to him? Yes, sir. Uh, but you haven't, Deborah and I? Well, I told you we will <laughs> rectify that situation in September. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So, I just want to point that fact spot, out so, right so I put you on the spot. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get pancakes next time. Hey, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm from the government. I'm here to help you. <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, we also have a, a craft show going on uh, that start at 9 o'clock and will run till 5. And then at 1 o'clock, from 1 to 4, we'll have uh, free pony rides and a free moonwalk for the kids. Okay. And uh, our food vendors, uh, G&O Hot Dogs and US 31 Barbecue, Carmen's Cafe, Parker's Ribs, and uh, Mr. Scrubs Pizza will be uh, operating this afternoon and through the evening. Okay. And, uh, of course, uh, we have the band Chaos is going to be playing from starting at 7 o'clock tonight. And we have uh, the band is products called- and uh, Coca-Cola products. And uh, the band uh, is acres co- of parking and lighted and attended parking. So people don't have to walk 50 miles. There you go. And uh, in case Mother Nature doesn't want to co- uh, cooperate, we do have a uh, nice big big top for people to stay in and uh, stay dry and uh, meet with their friends and have a good time. Is that, is that the beverage tent? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the, the beverage tent. Now, have you lived, lived in Muskegon all your life? No, I came here in 1970. Okay, well, 1970, that's, that's, that's quite a few years. So, do you have the idea, do you understand why Muskegon is, is the, the beverage tent capital of the world? I have no idea where the how the phenomenon started, but I'll tell you what, I'm darn glad we got it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it just sure beats the heck out of having, to, having everybody go someplace else. Oh, really? I mean, we have, honestly, Oscar, in, in both uh, the events that I've been involved in, we I know of people coming as far away as from Ludington, Grand Rapids, uh, Big Rapids, just to come in for the activities, meet with old friends. Usually, people who were from Muskegon have gone away and come back because they know that's a place when they where they can meet old friends again. Uh, is it, it, it's, it's, I think that's not all bad. If, it's, if they're run properly, and ninety nine percent of them are, yeah, there should be no problems. I think that's what I think that's the reason too, right there. Is it because is. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a social, place. It's a real yeah. social thing, like parties in the park or whatever. Uh, people go there for one really reason, and that I know of, and that's to to meet friends and. And uh, maybe you don't see them all week or a month or whatever. Or all or, or the wintertime. So it's the summer. Right. Summertime is kind of like a, like a way to break break out and see the old friends you haven't seen for a while. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and they'll see, like, it's almost like clicks, uh, little groups of people just clicks. gathering. Hey, and, and it's fantastic because they're all having fun. Okay. And there's nothing better than seeing people laugh and having a good time. That's true. That's true. And we in the Northside Lions are real proud of the fact that we give them the opportunity to do that. And in, in doing so, why we make a little money for the projects that we use in the, uh, for our community all right, and the, and the Lions Club is uh, d- does do a lot of wonderful things too. Well, we sure try. Okay. With, with the support of stations like WKBZ and uh, the uh, all the Northside businesses that have uh, helped us along on this venture, uh, it sure makes it a whole lot easier. As we say in Lions, it's great to be a Lion, and it makes it easiest for us to say those kind of things, and easier for us to get out in the community and uh, do those things that uh, we have been charged to do. Okay. And I appreciate the time, Oscar. And good, good success. Oh, by the today. way, just in case people don't know, it's, we're at Mulally Park, okay. Laketon Township. We're between River and Giles Road on Horton Road, mm-hmm. approximately a mile and a half east of Whitehall Road. There are signs on the corner. There's a sign, big arrow sign on the corner of Whitehall and Giles Road. Mm-hmm. And then when you get down to Horton Road, there's another arrow sign pointing right up the road. Oh, so, so, so they got it made right there. Well, they, if they just look for the not, big it beverage be too tent. to find. Look for the big beverage tent. Yes, and the big uh, Coke <laughs> bottle and the big Miller bottle. Oh, you got those out there, too? Oh, yeah. Okay, the, the big balloon bottles. Yeah, okay, yes, I've seen those before. Okay, now, um, so you want to run through one more time, though, before we go, uh, everything that you uh, have going on there right today? Right now, we have a pancake breakfast that started at 8 o'clock and is running through 11. We have a craft show with an excellent exhibitors uh, that will be running from now until 5 p.m. at 1 o'clock. Uh, we'll have free pony rides and, and a moonwalk. Uh, performances by uh, magician David Odette. Okay. Uh, we have some dance uh, dancers exhibits this afternoon. And then starting at 7 o'clock tonight, uh, there will be the band Chaos will be playing in the beverage tent. And uh, then, of course, we have our food vendors, uh, Parker's Ribs, US 31 Barbecue, Parents Cafe, uh, GNL Hot Dogs, and Mr. Scribs. As I said, we have Miller Products, Coca-Cola, just about anything and everything people would want. So you got it all. And we've got, like I say, one thing is also we have acres of part lighted and attended parking, so people should not feel uncomfortable in coming out. And, of course, it's all, all the money goes for a good cause, too. That's correct. It all goes to the to Lions Charities. Okay. Thank you very much, Ed. Thank you, Oscar. Appreciate it. Day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye.